I'm thinking to myself, like, I've been hearing people say things about ins and outs um, for lists of the year in terms of like what's in and what's out for you. And I think one of the things that's like out for me for sure and should probably never have been in for you. I'm not sure if you guys kind of keep attention to this sort of stuff. But for me personally, I never, and I repeat, I've never ever cared or ever checked who follows me or who unfollows me. I don't know. For the most part, especially when it comes to Instagram, I kind of adopt the sort of like Virgil Abloh method of things. If I speak to you on the DMs or you seem cool, I'll just follow back. I don't necessarily care, care too tough about, you know, withholding my follow like as if I'm some big dog or something like that. I don't care because if Virgil could follow a million people like he was following, he even followed my lame ass, then of course I can follow you back. So I don't necessarily care about that sort of stuff. I'm not really precious about that kind of thing. But I hear a lot of conversation, especially around social media, um, especially around culture especially around you know different little you know sub um sub genres you know whatever subcultures that exist out there of people using the fact that somebody unfollowed them as a sign of their relationship deteriorating or, or deteriorating right They're like oh we're not friends anymore um we can't be cool anymore because you unfollowed me i guess if your friendship is based on social media it would probably go a long way to illustrate how far you've fallen down in terms of your relationship with that person based on them unfollowing you um fair enough but if you actually want to be friends with people because i'd imagine maybe i'm maybe i'm the one that's naive here but I'd imagine if you're friends with somebody on social media it would be safe to assume that you like them as a person and to like them as a person you have to understand that they exist in the real world if they exist in the real world, it wouldn't. It shouldn't really matter if they unfollowed you because you follow them. So you still have an opportunity to kind of keep in touch with them, and you can find you know out what's going on with them whenever you bump into them in real life, or if ever you have the chance to meet them in real life. That's where I kind of take it from there. But just from a purely basic hipster, um, contrarian, and just up my own ass point of view. I can never, ever let anybody know that I care that much to check who's following and who unfollows me. I don't care. I've never have and I never will. Like, that's it. I've never checked who's my follow, who's on my followers. I don't know who's there. I don't know who's... Like, I just don't care. I've never cared. And I feel like for you to um, reduce yourself to caring who follows about you, you're really doing yourself a disservice, especially if you're an immigrant. You're doing your ancestors a, a disservice by really making that the bane of your existence. Oh, my God, this person unfollowed me. We're no longer friends. It's like, grow up. It's not that big of a deal. Nobody cares. And if anything... If you do want to get into that kind of slinging match in general, I just don't think it's going to lead to a um, happy ending. Because from what I've seen online, most people do hold their friend requests or friend follow or follows or how they whatever whatever that term is called. They hold you know they hold that hostage or they hold it on some pedestal. That's where they place that sort of stuff. It means a lot to them. So if that's the case, you're going to have to really bust your back. You're going to really have to kind of spread it wide open to get on their list in the first place. And I don't know about you, but I'm not spreading it wide open for nobody. I don't care. You don't care who you are. I've never cared about that sort of stuff in terms of status and position. And again, it's maybe cost me some opportunities because I don't necessarily kiss or bow the ring. I'm not going to, you know, uh, I'm not going to, what's your friend called? I'm not going to pay my dues or that kind of weird code talk for getting on your knees and giving someone fellatio. I'm not doing that in the slightest. So the thing that I do as a protest to that is just not care and focus on the work, focus on living, focus on family and friends and all the stuff that actually matters in the long term of it. Because I can't ever imagine a future or a present in my life where I'll sit there caring and crying about somebody unfollowing me. I don't care. They followed me one time, they unfollow me next time. Who cares? I don't even want to try and entertain the ideas of why they did it. It could be for any number of reasons. Whatever you do it, do it for whatever reason you want to do it for. Enjoy yourself. But in 2023, please stop caring about who followed you and who unfollows you. Live your life. Share your content. Share your thoughts. Um, upload many stories. Like some people will unfollow you because you upload too many stories or because your posts are too spammy. Whatever it may be, do live your best life. It's your platform, isn't it? Why do you care what, what they... Do you know what I mean? Why should the way they interact with your platform or your page story dictate how you you know how you basically put it together just live your life it's not that big of a deal really life is life is really short sitting there worrying about how you know i know some people have a mental note of how many numbers you know their total numbers of followers and they kind of clock it and track it all the time and see who's tight you're doing too much you're doing too too much 
2023, stop caring about who follows you and unfollows you on social media and just post. Actually, no, that should be the good one. Just post. Just post, focus on the posting of the content and you'll live a far more productive life going forward. I guarantee you. A far more productive life.